All right, back to the motors. Had to go get a new phone. Hopefully this one here lasts a little longer. Hell, oh, $1,200. <coughs> <coughs> um, let's see. I'm gonna do myself a favor. I'm gonna try this anyway. Uh, I can't find my safety glasses. I know I need them. But, uh, I don't know where they went. They're out here somewhere in this daggone mess. But I'll just keep my face away from the grinding. Excuse me. I've got I've got several boxes of these cutting wheels so I should be all right and these right here are here about a 16th of an inch thick so they don't last they last pretty good while you know thinner ones they uh they seem to wear down quite a bit I really don't like doing this with a uh, cutting wheel because you lose quite a bit of copper which, I mean, in my eyes, I don't know anybody else thinks so. But grinding wheels aren't cheap either. So we're going to go ahead and give it a rip. a shower if you don't want it. Breathing all that crap. 
trying to keep it away from my phone though. That and it, if you can see that, it fills your disc up with copper so it don't cut as good. to give me a machete it seems to work better somewhere I need to find it so I've been wanting to try that no let me clean this disc off That's a half pound just by itself. Want to be scrapper? This is the motor that you're uh, asking about. Uh, well, I better put my gloves back on because it's hot. Mm. Now I need to take all them strings off of there, but I'll do that. I'll deal with that in a little while. Now I'm going to open my vice up. Okay, I don't know where, I was wanting to try something, but I don't know where that darn thing went, the chisel, the head to a chisel, there it is right there. Country scrappers got. Uh, I guess it's a hammer drill, <coughs> but uh, it's a hammer drill. You can turn the uh, you can turn the drill part off. This is a hammer drill, but I don't know. Let me see. You might be able to turn the drill off on this. I don't think so. I don't think so. No, you can't turn the drill off. Okay. Okay, so we're just gonna. I'm oh, losing my mind. See. All right, where my damn chisel go?
94 degrees outside. Feels like 104. Yeah. So, this metal building feels like it's quite a bit lighter than that. go with it. As soon as I step back outside, I'll uh, cool off. <laughs> yeah, if I can grip harder now, it'll make it a lot easier. Take me a minute. Here you go, it's big on string. Off there. Now I see, I see a lot of people putting these motors in there and they're doing it there and they're prying here on the side and they have problems with it shifting. If you'll pry, if you'll get in here and pry to the front or the back of your vise, you won't have no problems. That thing is gripping and it won't slip. Will not slip out. <coughs> if you're prying to the side of it, it'll it'll slip and move and everything else. That's why I don't remember who it was. I told them pry from the front or the back. You won't have a bit of problems. I know everybody's got their own way. There ain't no wrong way to do this. But I always like that saying, work smarter, not harder. And you know, I mean, there's a lot of things you probably don't even think about. All right. There's that one. Let's see how much this one weighs by itself. I guess I could have got a, um, a weight on it. That one weighs 1.30. And uh, let me see. Get my thing over here. This in here, it's actually got a thing you can turn your camera around, so let's try that. Yes, sir. 1.30 is what that motor by itself weighs. Okay, and I'm going to pull this off and we'll zero it back out. Zero it back out. The bucket weighs, oh shit, hold on. The bucket weighs a pound and a half. So I got three pounds of copper right there, just out of them. Uh, three motors plus that one that I done yesterday. Flip it back. Thank God. I got me a new phone. It'll take me a minute to uh, figure the whole thing out. You know. New everything. It's new. I got a. It's a S23 Ultra. But uh, man, the camera looks so much better than my other one. Yeah. 
will cost me a bunch more money a month, but it'll pay off in the end. You know, scrap money. Let's see. I'm gonna put that in here like this. Hands are feeling a little better today. They ain't hurting like they usually are. <coughs> Sweating like crazy. Oh well. Let's move this in there. It's freaking funny how you lay stuff down. It's automatically going. I think my little workout yesterday was a gripping this actually helped me in the long run uh, I got more seems like I got more strength today I mean yeah my hands are a little sore but I feel together feel uh, a little better all together It is what it is. I mean, I ain't gonna stop just because my hands are hurting. <coughs> I can be a little whiny little prick. That really gets on my nerves. Crazy. But that is what it is. I ain't worried about it. It's probably laying here right in front of my face. I could turn that exhaust fan on, but uh, you guys wouldn't be able to hear me. That might be a good thing, I don't know. <laughs> Once we get this thing moved, I'm going to, I've got two garage doors sitting out back. Um, they're the old 1970s model fiberglass doors they're super light I think I'm going to put a garage door in both ends that way I can open it up and uh, get more air flowing through here because as of right now oh my god it's horrible in here I wish I had a Thermometer. I'd show you. It's probably 108 in here.
लग रहा है I can lose this one now too. There it is right there. Pull them strings off there. This is uh this will be the first time that I've used this camera on this phone. I've always heard a lot of good things about them. A friend of mine had a S22 and uh, she really liked it. still got the phone or not but uh, I'm sure gonna put it to the test this one here because uh, you know I mean I'd like to make a good quality video <coughs> if that's gonna be possible with this phone I hope my other phone it was a Galaxy Note 9, and it didn't do bad, but uh, we're going to see. In my last video, that hour-long one, I'm sorry about that, that sucker was too long for everybody to really watch. I don't like doing that. But, uh, it is what it is. I mean, I got a few views on it. But ain't nobody gonna sit and watch a, a video for a full hour. At least not a lot of people. Uh, I had gotten a phone call from my mom. And I had to cut it short. And then I, the camera shut off on me. <clears throat> so then I uh, had to restart it. And that made it two videos that I had to merge into one. Which I mean, I don't mind it. But. I should have ended it different because, you know, I didn't know. It took me a little while to figure out how to edit, edit all that last night. But I figured it out. I mean, I put little icons and stuff like that in there. Something I've never done before. I wonder if I can get a hold of that. I can get in there. Yeah. I think uh, one of the guys told me to get some fence. 
amplifiers. Just gonna try them. I don't even know what they are. But I'm gonna figure it out. I'm gonna try them. <laughs> Can't use these right here to twist because they twist. They bend themselves. I can see it. I don't have nothing but time other than, you know, work. So, hey, whatever I get out of it, it's whatever I get out of it. I mean, I don't count my time because simple fact is I haven't made it a business. Um, or just too much competition around here. Uh, there's 3,500 or more people in the towns I live in. And, uh, hell, half of us, probably scrappers. I mean, there's a bunch of them. There is a bunch of us. You know, a lot of the people that do it are well known. I got a lot of friends and stuff around here. I was doing it and uh, helping another guy. But things happen and we don't get along anymore. You know, we all got into a big mess, ruckus, and they started a bunch of crap. And I got called this and I got called a rat and I got called, I got accused of doing this and I got accused of doing that. And That ended. Yeah. It's okay. I, mean, I don't need nobody else to be able to make money. Only a few friends that I do have around here. And they are very, very, very good to me. They, they have something that was any kind of scrap value, you know, they'll call me. Uh, I still ain't got around to getting that, car, that farm cleaned up yet. That's another thing I need to update on. But I mean, what's the sense in wasting your time when it's not hurting nothing it's sitting there? What's the sense in wasting your time when the prices are so low? You know, I mean, it's gonna take half of whatever it brings to, you know, fuel the truck and everything. So I don't worry about it too much. It's been there for years, so I'm sure they ain't messing with it. I ain't worried about it too much. Them two motors that I didn't finish yesterday. Let's see what we got. It's up to 460, so say 
three panels. So that's a 525. Nice. About four and three quarter pounds. Number two. Got a motor here. I don't know. Tempest Cobber, I haven't checked it. So I'm going to check it. It's just a little bitty one. Yeah, that's cover. It's gonna be another one of them. Snip here. Got all that big on plastic and stuff around it. It's gonna be another one of them. That you don't worry about hitting with a grinder. I got all the way down on that one. I did another one. to get that stuff in there tight. It's a good deal. Get in there tight, I don't have to worry about it going nowhere. Squeeze that baby in there. I don't know if it's in here's cover or if it's one. But we about to find out. Yeah. Uh, 
aluminum plate. So, I guess I need to scratch this stuff and see if it's worth messing with to me. Hey, it's doing good stuff. Man, I'm on a roll. This is a motor off from, uh, oh hell, what is it? It, um, um, shoot, forced air heater. Um, it's one of them, hell, I always called them, um, uh, jet heaters or, uh, or, uh, hell, I can't remember what I called them. They're, uh, runoff diesel, electric. Or, um, hell, I ain't never had one. Uh, I can't remember what kind of heater there. Big old space heater. That's got a bunch of damn resin all over it. Mine just went blank when I was talking about that heater. Heard they call it a million things. Sound like a daggone jet running. I just call them forced air heaters.
paper put resin in that tape. Insulated. All this crap's easy to get off of it, some of it ain't. Good knife. I can get it off there, no big deal. But I don't. A torpedo heater, that's what I called them years ago. Torpedo heater. Well, the right name for them is Force Fair. Some of them run off electric, some of them run off uh, kerosene, coal oil. Some of them run off a uh, mixture of both. Some of them run off propane. I've seen a little bit of all of them. Just a mixture of all of them. And the brick screwdriver. I'm gonna try that dig on machete trick. I got a machete out there. I think it's at the other property. This right here. Being a booger. Being a booger. Booga, booga. <laughs> booga, booga. Boogie man vibe. I woke up this morning. Dang going phone took a poop. Like that, go. I'm worried to death, but how am I gonna make videos now? Try to roll to Henderson, Kentucky. Try to roll here about 40 minutes, I guess. Bought this phone. I don't like doing that because them damn things are expensive. It's even more expensive whenever you insure them. So I didn't insure it. Just gotta be careful. I bought a damn 
$80 case and the screensaver and stuff to go with it. Which that stuff's basically a damn gone joke. Anyway, that's another way to get money. piece of plastic gonna hold up to a freaking semi running over top of it. I tell you, I tell you who I wish would start making good phones again. It's uh the rugby's they're like a walkie-talkie. Boy, you're talking about something tough. But they ain't nothing like this. They can't get a, you can't take videos, do videos with them. Stuff like that, they're just old flip phones. Me in here. Next trip, we're going to go with uh, some ballast. I got uh, five or six out there outside. I got one here. I ain't going to mess with that right now. It's too hot in here. Whew. I had a hell of a hailstorm earlier. Put a few little dents in my truck and dove the car. But, uh, it's pretty well cleared up. Cleared up, and beautiful sky, the wind's blowing. And it's still hotter than crap out here. Uh, do a little walk around. Whew. I still got two air conditioners I needed get took apart two air conditioners there I drained them the other day I had to put a what they call a saddle I had to put a saddle in on the bottom side there and uh, my buddy's got a pump down machine I pumped a Pump them down, got the pressure off of them. I got a few ACR cores there. There's them uh, cores from a car. I know them cans, Scrap Man 69. Another bag sitting there, and I got a bunch more at work. But I'm getting it cleaned up. I'm trying to get out of here. Give y'all a little bit of a look. It used to be. You look in some of my older videos, you'll see 
what I'm talking about. It used to be all the way around. I've got that big section right there where the barrel is. I got it all cleaned up. And uh, a lot of this stuff, the metal hanging it or leaning against the building, I'm going to use. Out the other property, there's them ballast I still ain't picked up yet. Uh, this section here is cleaned up except for that mattress. And then uh, the trailer, the trailer's getting quite full. I gotta get this brass out of them later. But uh, I just figured I'd give you all a walk around. Here's another 49 or 50 minute video. <laughs> Somebody said, get your watch hours up, you can uh, make longer videos. Well, I think, personally, I need to make shorts. There's another motor. There. That's off uh, table saw. It's probably aluminum. <laughs> There's a dryer here. It's probably going to be... I don't know. I think it dryer works though, so I'm trying to wait on it. But uh Alright guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna head off here and try to see what I can get myself into and make me a short or two. You have a good day.